Okay, um, let's try this one. Uh, it says, sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen in the present presence of a platinum to give sulfur trioxide. The reaction is shown. Suppose that at one stage of the reaction, 24.1 moles of sulfur dioxide, 79.0 moles of oxygen, and 23 moles of sulfur trioxide are present in the reaction uh, vessel at a total pressure of 0 0.923 atm. Calculate the mole fraction of sulfur trioxide and its partial pressure. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're doing something like this um, is you want to find the mole fraction of, well it says to find the mole fraction of the sulfur dioxide, but in order to do that you need to know um, the total number of moles. We know the number of moles of sulfur trioxide right here, okay? Um, so in order to find the total number of moles, all you do is add up all three of the moles present in the reaction, okay? So we got gas, gas, and gas. So they're all three present at the reaction at a particular time. So at that particular time, what is the total number of moles? That's what we gotta figure out first, okay? So when we, in order to do that, you just simply add them all up. So number of moles total is gonna be 24.1 moles, 79.0 moles, and 23, I think in the problem it says 0 0.0 moles. So let's change that so we don't have any significant figure issues here. Okay. Um, and then just add those three numbers up. So 24.1 plus 79 plus 23 is Yeah, 126.1 moles. So that's the total number of moles of gas you have in the um, reaction mixture at this particular time, okay? So um, then it asks you, well, what's the mole fraction of sulfur trioxide, okay? So mole fraction big X, okay, sulfur trioxide. Well, we know the number of moles of sulfur trioxide and we know the total number of moles, okay? So remember the mole fraction is just the number of moles of the part divided by the total number of moles. So we have both of those, right? So if you look here, we just figured that up. Other, that other one out. 23.0 moles divided by 126.1 moles. Um, and so the mole fraction, and it should be a number that makes sense to you, right? So uh, like 18% or 0.18, that makes sense, right? Of when you look at 23 compared to 126. Okay. okay. Yes. yes. So if you got some number that's like 72, right? 72, mm -hmm. that doesn't make any sense. Got it. Yeah. Okay? So it's going to be a fraction. So 0 0.1, and there's three significant figures, so 1, 8, 2. Right. Yeah. And moles and moles cancel out there. So this mole fraction doesn't have any units associated with it. Oh. Okay. And then it asks for, what was it? The last thing it asked for was the pressure of the sulfur trioxide, right? At this point in time. So pressure, big P, right? So this one um, sounds a lot scarier than what it actually is. Mm -hmm. So um, the partial pressures of these um, gases uh, are correlated with the number of moles. So the mole fraction helps you out in that, right? So if you know the total pressure and you know the mole fraction, you just multiply those things together and you get the partial pressure, okay? So um, what did we say? The mole fraction of sulfur trioxide is 0 0.182 and we multiply that by the Total so pressure, 0.923 atm. So you're in front of the camera right now being recorded. What? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So the partial pressure of sulfur trioxide is 0 0.16 A. Okay. Any questions on that? No, sir. Thank you. Yeah.